Health workers are desperately trying to get each and every child vaccinated against polio, so no child will ever again suffer the crippling effects of this disease. There are other diseases that could be eliminated as well, including measles. But even though there is a highly effective measles vaccine, not all children are getting it. In Western countries, it's largely because parents choose not to vaccinate their children. There's no year that's gone by, in, at least in my history at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where we do not see a child suffer and die from a vaccine-preventable disease. And invariably, it's because the parents made that choice. Last year, more than 14,000 people caught measles in Europe. Romania had the most cases. We cannot uh, uh, fight uh, this disease if we do not uh, increase vaccination coverage. This is the first step that we have to start with. But we also have to understand why vaccination uh, uh, coverage uh, uh, is uh, going down. Many health officials say vaccines are victims of their own success. For my parents who were children of the, in the 20s and 30s, they saw diphtheria as a routine killer of teenagers. They saw polio as a common crippler of, of uh, children and young adults. So that you didn't have to convince them to vaccinate me, my brother and sister. A new study suggests that in the United States, vaccine refusal is contagious. It spreads from communities with a high number of refusals to those nearby. Collectively, there's uh, factors driving vaccine refusal and delay. Some parents believe misinformation they read online about the false connection between vaccines and autism, despite studies that show no connection. They then spread this misinformation to other parents, and they stop fearing the disease. And when they don't fear that, then what they'll fear is they'll fear the vaccines. And I think that's where we're at. Laws have tightened in some places. California no longer allows children to be exempt from getting vaccinations except for medical reasons. In Australia, the government provides free HPV vaccines to all young girls. HPV causes cervical cancer, the second most common type of cancer in women worldwide. 20 to 30 years from now, Australia may see sharp declines in these cancers because of government policy and an effective vaccine. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.